everybody, Ramy here. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to share your document in Google Docs so that people can view it, or they can edit it and view it, or they can just add comments and view it. Um, I have my students do this when they send me their files because it's a great way to share a document with your professor so they can give you feedback on it without having to worry about them downloading it and stuff because that causes a lot of issues. Sometimes file size is too big um, and just other things like that. So it's very simple. You know, they forget to send the attachment. So this is a very simple method around that. And this is the same procedure whether you're using a Google presentation, Google Slides, or documents. So whatever you're using, any of those Google, you know, that Google suite, that Google package, it's all going to be the same. So in, I have a, cre created a blank document here. I have the word sample here. I've called it my sample. But whatever your document is, you know, you've created it and you have it done. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click the share button. You can see this big blue share button with a lock on it because right now by default, it's private. No one can see it. I'm going to click the share button. Now, within this little pop up that just came up, there are like five different ways to share your document. One, I can type in people's email addresses. So I can type in different email addresses and send the document to them. When I start typing in an email address, it gives me the option to view, edit, or share. I can click the get shareable link or I can click advanced, which both basically do the same thing. So let me click get shareable link first. I click get shareable link automatically the, the link is copied to my clipboard, which means I can paste it into an email already. But you can see the link right here. I would just copy and paste this. But right now my participants can view the document. That means that they can just see it. They cannot type on it or change anything. I can click edit. Edit means that they can do anything to it just like you can. They can change things, edit things, modify things. Can comment means you're sending them your document and the only thing they can do is add comments. They can't change anything. So that's the setting I tell my students to send to me. So then you recopy the link after you've changed it and you can just click the button here to copy link. Now it's copied to my clipboard and you would send it to your participants. You can also do it via email, same thing. I just type in their email address and it sends whether I wanna edit, copy or view. If I click advanced, it's basically the same exact thing, but it'll change everything for the whole document. So right now, here's my sharing, and I can change this. Right now, anyone who has access to the document can comment. So I can click the change button, and I can make it so it's public. People on the web can now find this document, and they can edit it and comment on it. I can just say only people with the link can do whatever I told them they can do. Um, and I can turn it off so that no one can do anything. Like if, I'm, if I had sent the link out or multiple links to 10 people and I want them to be done, I can click off and it's done. And then I would just click save and that's it. You're done. That's how you share this. Very, very, very easy to do. And then at the bottom here, there are just two options. The first checkbox is to prevent uh, other people from changing access or adding new people. So like when I tell someone they can edit the document, checking this prevents them from adding new people if I don't necessarily trust them. Um, and then the last one disables options to download or print. Um, for people who are just viewers so they can't download your document but they can still screenshot it so it's not necessarily hidden um but it's a nice little feature anyway that's it very simple to do very easy to share your documents using google docs thank you have a nice day